Holocaust commemoration is very important to the Jewish community because only if you commemorate old events they will not be forgotten. My name is Jael Schlesinger. I'm a native Berliner. I, um, I'm Jewish, which is um, something quite unusual for a native Berliner. It was um, very important to my mother that um, we get in contact with survivors because my grandmother, of course, had a lot of friends that were survivors. Um, my parents also had acquaintances and friends that were survivors. Very early on, I would recall basically fifth grade, that's in Germany when, when you are about 11 years old. Um, she organized that we ask friends about the thing. <laughs> Fourteen year old son and um, he's reacting very sensitive to this to this topic of course but oh, if you hear your yeah, his uh, his uh, classmates talking about that and how they are reacting to this topic that is very very different from how we react he is the only Jewish child in his class and uh, he is confronted with the other kids making very quickly very very bad jokes about the holocaust as a jew anywhere in the world you experience anti-semitism um, always sometimes it it makes you feel tired yeah so you can't just live a normal life it's, it's something that is there in any country of the world it exists you don't point out these things because it makes the situation with people that you have to interact every day at work even tougher. So my name is Stara Saklimowicz and I work for the Grodzka Gate Center Theater NN in Lublin, Poland. The Jewish community was um, before the war surely a very vivid and dynamic one uh, with many different internal and external conflicts. So it was a very complex community and I believe that the fact that there were many uh, political and ideological struggles uh, also shows that the uh, Jewish community felt uh, in a way uh, comfortable here, uh, here in Poland being uh, truly the part of the city and uh, the spirit uh, of the city. At first, the ghetto was not surrounded by walls, so it was also like gradual change, so the, just a symbolic border uh, within the community that demarked the place where they uh, supposed to uh, live and be. And only on the next stages, uh, when there was already an idea for the liquidation of Lublin ghetto, uh, the fence uh, was uh, built around the smaller ghetto, the ghetto B uh, in Lublin. So uh, I don't think there was a rapture uh, with uh, these uh, forms of discrimination. I think it's uh, something much more subtle and therefore even more uh, dangerous because uh, it seems that the 
change is not that sudden and in that form it does not evoke so much resistance when it's done uh, step by step. After all those changes, the uh, Jewish community of Lublin is actually a branch of Warsaw Jewish community, so it's, uh, there is no separate Lublin institution, and the community uh, has uh, less than 40 members. <laughs> Center for the Jewish Life because Warsaw was the second biggest community after New York. So in Warsaw lived uh, almost 400,000 people. In Warsaw we can found exactly every, all spectrum of the Jewish life and different languages, different political parties, different part of the city as well because some part of the city uh, were um, when 90% uh, inhabitants were Jewish is 600. There, in Warsaw Jewish community there are 600 uh, members, so this is a small Jewish community, but it's the biggest in Poland. Even though my uh, paternal grandmother lost her uncle in Auschwitz and she had to do forced labor and my um, grandfather lost his parents, when your family decides or when you decide as children of Holocaust survivors or Holocaust survivors, um, to live in Germany, you probably have to put this aside a little bit. It was, in my family, never basically an, an important topic. It was important that we learn about it, but not that it was a dark cloud hanging um, over the family. The community has changed in these 20 years a lot, I think. So we are getting um, more and more people coming to Berlin, moving to Berlin from all over the world. Before you had like four synagogues which were working from 50 let's say to 1990 and now we have something like 13, 14 synagogues. There are so many, unbelievable many writers, famous writers in Polish language and uh, poets and uh, cabarets, actors and artists who were Jewish and they create Polish culture, or Polish-Jewish culture. The destruction of the European uh, Judaism is not anymore one of the main topics, but it changed a little bit to what is the, the reality of the communities and Jewish life now, and what are your hopes, um, and what are the plans for the future. There is a, this phrase in Judaism, and I think is particularly known within the Jewish community in the United States, it's called, um, they try to kill us, we survive, let's eat. Jewish life. Jewish life.